Well, you can see this coming. Moms around the country are going to be getting roses this Sunday. And Master Gardener William Moss is here with some timely advice on buying and growing our favorite flower. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Morning. All right. All right. <laughs> now you can see Good. folks heading out, and they're going to go. And how, how should they go about picking which rose is, is the one they ought to pick? Always look for roses that still are pretty tight. Yeah. You want them just starting to open so they're pretty tight and wrapped up. You don't want them to be too far open because they won't last as long. Yeah. You don't want, so like, that's a little too far to buy. Yeah, if you're See, buying this one, one it's going to be done by the time you get it home. Exactly, that's All a little right. too far. And if it's too tight, yeah. it may not even open at home. Yeah. So you don't want that. You want to make right. sure that you get them in tight. Blood. So you get them home. How? Mm -hmm. what, what is the best way to get them into the water to make sure they flourish? Well, the number put them in water always, right. but yeah. the number one way to keep them looking good yeah. is to change the water and cut them at least every other day. Every other day. Now, ideally you do it every day, but no one's doing that. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> Even I don't do that. Okay. You want to cut them. So the way you cut the roses, mm. you want to cut them on an angle. At so an it angle. has to be at an angle, like right. that. Okay. You don't want to, let me move this out the way. Mm. You don't want to cut them so it's flat. You want to make sure that you cut them on an angle like that. Right. The easiest way to do this, of course, is just to take some pruners, mm. put them in the water, snip them, oh, and these guys are ready to go for another two So days. it's even better if you do it in the water? Much better do it in the water. That way you can make sure that water fills up all these spaces. The very, the very single second that you do it. Exactly. Now, do you use this stuff? The honest truth is I don't because I'm changing my yeah. water every two days. Okay, good <laughs> job. All right, I like it, I like it, I like it. What am I doing here? Well, you know, but it's much better if you can give your mom a rose that looks great now mm -hmm. and will look great all through the season a rose and next year. Lands. Year yeah. year. Exactly. They so, can be difficult, though. They, they can be, they can be hard, but we've got some really easy ones here. Many roses are really simple. The earth kind roses that's right. double knockout really really easy to grow right. I mean, these roses are so tough you can go out with like a lawnmower and mow them down and they're still gonna come, back. come back up these do look come back good. up they, really do, easy. they do look good great for containers right. too they even got this new one out now called the remember me rose collection uh -huh. this patriot dreams and a portion of these proceeds go to help victims from september 11th so wow. it's really it's a patriotic rose right. very good you really know what good. happens so the roses bloom the bloom goes away and then you're left with these rose hips and are there really, is there a benefit from, from, from rose hips? Yeah, that's good news to have a rose hips. Because what rose hips do, and you get a lot of them on the wild roses and the ragosa roses, yeah. rose hips have vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D and E, full of nutrients, full of antioxidants, and you can see most vitamins what gives them the vitamin C? Yeah. Rose hips. Comes out of the rose hips. So this is something healthy that you guys can do. You can make your own jelly, you can make your own teas with your own rose hips from your mom's garden. There Isn't that go. neat? Cheers. That's not bad. It's, right? I never taste that before. Right? And, it's, right? and it's full of health benefits for Very you, too. Very good. Okay. So, now let's get down to the serious, serious business. Okay. If we're going to really get serious about roses, we're going to grow roses, tell us the most important things we need to know. Well, the most important thing is you've got to have proper spacing mm -hmm. and good light. If you've got your spacing and your light, you're going to be okay. Right. Most people don't, so they need products to help them with fungicides and bugs and all right. of that. Sure. But I'm telling you, if you start out by doing the right thing, by the way, if you do, make sure it's organic. Okay. But if you do start out with the right way, by giving them the spacing, put a few herbs in here too to fight some of the bad guys off. Yeah, because you know with the herbs you distract the bad guys from the roses themselves, right? Right, so you don't ever want to put it in deeper than it is. I'm going to dump in some of my soil here, the organic mechanics. Yeah. Go ahead and put it on in here. Uh, get it down in there, spread it out. I know you usually like to do some spreading, so I, I left a little piece there for you to finish up. Looks good. Oh, Harry, you must, you've done this before. There you have it. <laughs> And that's how you do it. It looks really, really good. Really good. And it's going to bloom for you all season long. Very good. Mr. Moss. Dr. Moss. <laughs> the best. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.